96 ounces of water per day and I will be needing to track this because that is a lot of water. Hello my friends and welcome. My name's Miranda and this is from Fluffy to Foxy, a weight loss transformation and information channel. As promised in the last video, I'm going to cover why I'm doing certain things in my weight loss journey that might seem controversial. The first one being that I am not going to be dieting down to a specific number on the scale. So for example, I'm not aiming for some arbitrary number like 140 pounds or 135 or 125. I'm not doing it. And the main reason for this is because I believe in weightlifting and body recomposition and muscle weighs more than fat. And there have been plenty of examples online of women who've weighed one weight and been chubby and then started weightlifting, gotten muscular and been the exact same weight after they've gotten muscular and lost the fat. So this is a prime example of why I'm not going to be dieting down to some arbitrary number on the scale because I will be incorporating weightlifting into my weekly schedule going forward. And I'm going to be incorporating three days per week of weightlifting on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. The reason for this is because one of my teenage sons wants to do some weightlifting and I'm going to be weightlifting with him. So it's going to be a mother and son activity that the two of us are going to be doing together. The other thing that I am going to be doing that may seem a little controversial is that I'm changing the amount of cardio that is recommended um, to be done per week. So it is recommended that you do 150 minutes of cardio per week. And I am changing that to increase that amount. So I'm going to be doing more cardio and doing approximately 45 minutes of cardio per day rather than the 30 that is recommended specifically because I do have two very active Australian Shepherds and they do need a little more um, time outside than they're getting um, because they are getting a little bit rowdy inside at times. I do have a work at home job and sometimes they need to be crated and they don't get as much activity as I'd like. So I'm going to be increasing their time outside, which will be increasing mine. So I'm going to be increasing my cardio to 45 minutes per day and include them in this as well. So it's going to be a win-win for both of us. The other things that I will be doing while I'm going to be on this journey will obviously be the standard information that you would think about when you're going on a quote unquote diet. So I'm going to be looking at increasing my water. Now it may seem a little uh, excessive for someone, but I need to drink 96 ounces of water per day as um, recommended by my doctor. Now the reason for this is because I have POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachycardic syndrome. It's new to me. I've only had it about a month, but one of the things is I need to increase my water and my sodium intake. So I will be drinking about 96 ounces of water per day and I will be needing to track this because that is a lot of water to be uh, drinking <laughs> per day. Um, the other thing that I will obviously be doing will be changing my diet for more whole foods and less processed foods because obviously processed foods are more caloric and uh, less healthy. But the food rules that I'm going to have, let's call them food rules, are going to be put in place by me for specific things. Um, now, I don't, and I am not a big fan of food rules. Um, I believe that everyone should be able to enjoy everything in moderation. If you want some ice cream, then you should be able to have some ice cream. If you want a chocolate bar, then have a chocolate bar. But... I have a binge eating disorder and until that is under control, I will be moderating what I eat in my trigger foods. It's just how it's got to be 
and I think it is the smartest thing for my long-term health to cut out certain foods for now and then I can add them back in once it is under control and I will be doing a separate video on BED and how it affects me specifically but also general information on the disorder as well. The last two things that I'm going to be focusing on are sleep and sunshine. I imagine that, huh? You didn't think sunshine was going to be in there. I live in a very cold environment uh, most of the year. And unfortunately, it's pretty cloudy and pretty cold for probably about six months of the year. So I am working on getting outside to get more sunshine directly in the morning when it's up so that I can expose myself to that um, stimulus first thing in the morning. If you are ever in need of some good listening, I suggest Andrew Huberman. He is a great neuroscientist on the platform and he has some fantastic information about why getting daily sunlight first thing in the morning is a great thing to do. And I will be incorporating that into this journey so that I can increase my health as well as losing weight. That is the whole point of this goal. The other one is my sleep. My sleep has not been the greatest. I am a light sleeper. So my dogs, my kids, my husband, everybody wakes me up. So I am going to be setting a specific bedtime and a specific wake up time that I will do seven days a week, even on the weekends, which, you know, I really like sleeping in on the weekend, but this is going to be the best thing for my sleep health. So I'm going to be taking some advice that is based on sleep habits, and I'm going to set a specific bedtime and a specific rise time that I will keep the seven days of the week so that it resets my circadian rhythm and hopefully I will be less tired and less fatigued in the day because POTS definitely does add a great deal of fatigue to you and I'm just trying to help manage some of those symptoms as well. Now in the next video I'm going to go over the actual measurements, my starting weight, the before and after pictures. So, oh yeah, that's going to be full of all sorts of wonderful things that I wish I would never, ever put on the internet. But to stay honest, those are going on the internet so that we have a good starting point so everybody knows where I started at so that this transformation journey stays honest. And you guys can all watch the weight loss journey start from there. So make sure that you watch that one so you know where I'm starting from and you can follow along the journey starting point from there. So until next time, stay awesome.